to answer the question in a long form is the connection point between artist and business owner. I was the business owner first. I was the entrepreneur first, and I had a talent that I could use to monetize. And as I've learned how to monetize that talent and become better and better at those talents and stack more talents, then I've been able to make more money. And I realized I'm not just a designer. I'm so much more than that. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a consultant. I'm a creator. You're a problem solver. You're a communicator. You're a marketer. You're a wealth builder, right? Start thinking bigger. Start thinking broader than just these small little, okay, I'm just a graphic designer or I'm just a logo designer, right? You're much bigger than that. What was the catalyst that that shifted you from being a, a graphic designer to being more of a business? That's probably one of my favorite questions that I've been asked so far. Um, the reason why that's so good is because my journey is so unique from the perspective of like, you know, Ian shared with me his journey of his childhood and upbringing and growing up in more of a poverty mindset, not necessarily saying he lived in poverty, but having more of the poverty mindset of the, the lack mentality rather than this abundant mentality that we've both now shifted into. And so my journey, my origin story, if you will, going all the way back to my grandfather when I was a little kid, three, four, five years old, before he passed away was entrepreneur, right? He was sitting in his office, selling videos, doing incredible, like he pioneered. He was a pioneer in his industry taking photos and videos and meshing them in and to doing what he did. And so getting to have that really early experience of seeing like he was helping and serving people, but also doing what he loved was like a bug that he planted, a seed that he planted in me at such a young age. That seed of entrepreneurship was the root. That was like my foundation. And then being able to take that foundation and then use my gifts, my abilities, right? He had his own gifts and his abilities, which I find today to be very similar in a lot of ways, but he, my gifts and my abilities of being an artist, I drew my entire life, my entire, entire childhood in school. I wasn't listening to the teacher, I was drawing. And so I spent my entire childhood drawing and sharpening my ax as a creative, as an artist, as a designer, and getting better and better and better. And then using my entrepreneurial gifts to be like, hey, what do you need? Hey, I could draw on that car for you, or I could do this for you, right? And being able to solve people's problems or give them inspirational ideas of what I could do to help them make their life better in some sort of way. And then getting paid in, in proportion to that. I mean, I didn't always take money. Somebody had an awesome candy bar or something they got for lunch or whatever. I would do trade and barter deals and just sometimes just helping out a friend. I didn't even need to get paid for it. So just being able to serve people was the root of that for me. That was the most important piece. And then using my God-given gifts and abilities to help people along their journey. The real connection point is an understanding, one, your value and your worth. Money is a tool just like anything else, like the AI and the computer and the cell phone. They're all the same. This isn't evil, right? Has phone, have phones been used to do evil? Absolutely. Has money been used to do evil? Absolutely. But they are tools, right? It's how people use them that's really important. And so what I've learned over the years and what shifted me from just being like, hey, I don't really care if I'm broke. I already anticipated being broke my whole life because my parents were broke. So I don't really care about being broke. As long as I'm happy and doing what I love to do and I'm not working for somebody else, I've won, right? That is success. And then somewhere along the way, through reading, through coaching, through mentorships and all the different things I did, I realized that the real power that I had was to be able to take my talent and tools and, and gifts and make a profit. And the more profit I was able to make, the more money I was able to make from that, all of a sudden doors started opening up. I was able to take care of myself better. I was able to take care of my family better. I was able to help people around me. I was able to create more jobs. I was able to just, all of a sudden I started designing this future, designing this world and creating this world around me. It was so much bigger as I was able to get more resources. So my journey as a creator, as an artist, as a designer has gone, okay, how can I serve better and better people along my way? The more, I put myself in proximity, which is a really powerful word. When I put myself in proximity with people who have really big goals, really big dreams, really big visions, that they have good proximity with other people and they've really set themselves up and they're driven for something, right? They're coachable, they're passionate and they're driven. When I put myself around those people, all of a sudden doors started opening up where it's like they connect me to their friends and family and referrals and their network and, and the bigger and bigger the clients started coming in. And when I get bigger and better clients, it was bigger and better projects and more money because when you're at these higher levels in business, the problems that you're facing are not $100 problems. They're $1,000 problems or $10,000 problems or $100,000 problems and now I'm at the level where I'm solving million dollar problems. 
When you solve million dollar problems, you get paid in proportion to the problems that you're solving. And so as I started solving million dollar problems, I started sharpening my ax and learning how to sharp solve those problems better than everybody else in my marketplace. So now I have this creative ability to be able to take somebody's words and, and conversation that I'm having with them and translate that into visual images, graphics, designs, funnels, all these fun things. So there's an actual application to this talent. What is it that I'm using? Am I serving the carpet cleaner who just needs 10 more carpet cleaning jobs a week? Or am I serving the, the $4 million company that's trying to get to $10 million, right? And just being able to put myself in proximity with the right people. So where the gears have really connected is being able to focus my time, which is the most valuable thing that I own, and spend it on the people in the places that are actually gonna produce me the most profit that I can then use and steward because it's not my money, it's God's money, and I can use that money to steward and help the other people around me, including choosing people to help for free. There's lots of people I've helped for free. There's networking groups like the Instagraphics Pro Network that I've, I've helped all these people for free. I haven't asked them for a dime other than the free trial and the, the networking group that we just launched. So that's the first time I've ever asked them for anything, but I've been doing this for three years now with this community. So just being able to help other people from the resources that are coming down that are from me just adding value into these business owners' lives, I think that's really the connection point is really being able to take my passion for art and design and creativity, helping the right people and then letting that flow down to the people who are not at that level and just being able to just continuously pay it forward. That's a big way of living. It's a big part of my values is just being able to pay it forward. So I think to answer the question in a long form is the connection point between artist and business owner. I was the business owner first. I was the entrepreneur first and I had a talent that I could use to monetize. And as I've learned how to monetize that talent and become better and better at those talents and stack more talents, then I've been able to make more money. And I realized I'm not just a designer. I'm so much more than that. I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a consultant, I'm a creator, I'm, I'm a leader, I'm a speaker. I'm like, there's so many things. I'm not just one thing. So being able to unroot yourself from this identity where like, oh, I'm just a graphic designer. No, you're not. You're a problem solver, you're a communicator, you're a marketer, you're a wealth builder, right? Start thinking bigger, start thinking broader than just these small little, okay, I'm just a graphic designer or oh, I'm just a logo designer, right? You're much bigger than that. And if you're not anything bigger than that, you need to start sharpening your ax and start getting more skills, they're gonna pay you more because graphic design as a skill isn't a high paying skill. If you wanna make more money, start solving bigger problems. That's what I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys on the next video. And as always, keep looking up.